Hi guys, it's Harvey. Um, boy, YouTube hit, and um, you can look at my other YouTubes about my meter and everything. And um, guy was really nice. He said, "Listen, I don't have a lot of money, but I do want a check for a lot of things. Is there a test strip similar to these that do a little bit more? Because I do worry about my chemistry." And I can't seem to stabilize my pH. I just keep dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping, and I don't know why. Well, I just want to show you. I know they are a little expensive for a test strip, but I used to stock about 10 of these on my truck because at times when I had problems, instead of pulling out my big kits, um, I use this kit, uh, the this this um, test strip, and here's your biggie, your sunuric acid and stabilizer. If your sunuric acid is up where it shouldn't be, it's very hard to keep your chemicals in check. So yes, it's very important to do all these your free chlorine, your chlorine, and everything else like this. And where you get this acid from is all the stuff that you dump in your pool. And unfortunately, the way you get rid of it, unfortunately, is um, add water. Lots of it. Lots and lots and lots and lots of water. You should really check for this acid and you stabilize, especially if you have a salt pool. Especially stabilizer. You want to have stabilizer. If you have a salt pool, you definitely want to check for stabilizer. But this acid can be really fouling you up. And if it's high, well, vinyl pools I don't like. Because you can't drain them down in most places. Because a lot of them cave in. Um, a gun eye pool, depending where your water level is, um, you probably pretty much can drain and scrub and refill without a problem. Where we are, we're so close. I mean, at times, our water table is at a foot and a half down. So I wouldn't even do a fiberglass pool, drain it. Um, a buddy of mine drained by accident a fiberglass pool. Went back to fill it up and <laughs> was bobbing up and down in the water. It broke through the concrete and everything. <laughs> I should have took some pictures back then, but then back then I didn't have much of the camera works. And but <laughs> it was funny to see. Insurance company paid for everything. You know, got owner came up with a new pool, but you got to be careful. So that's why around here. Um, uh, what I do is I drain it, drain it a little below the skimmer, and um, so it still sucks water, so I can rain, um, you know, um, suck through the skimmer. And I throw a hose in there, and I throw the hose in the skimmer. All right, and you know, three, four hours later, when the pool is full, I give. Um, and it's a good way to backwash your filter. Um, if you have a DE filter, that's not a good way to backwash your filter. But if you got a sand filter, it's a good way to backwash your sand filter. Um, so the guy asked what I would recommend. And this 7 in 1 is really a nice kit. All right. If you have a heater or if you have problems and you don't want to spend the twenty, thirty, forty dollars that some people charge to tear apart water and tell you what's wrong and everything else like that, you want to do it yourself. This this these test strips do very well. If you have a gas heater at and, and any type gas heater, I definitely would have this test kit. Okay, um, 
you don't have to use them all the time. I would get cheaper test kits, but if you wanted to be real close on all these things that it does, um, use this test kit. Um, this test kit is really nice. This card I do like. Let's see if I can bring it up. Yeah, I can. It's big enough where you can set the test strip and see everything. All right. It's not like this bottle. You can kind of put the test strip in the middle and where you work back and forth, back and forth, and you're already in 30, 40 seconds and you're using two and three of these. So you got to be really careful. Yes, these are expensive, um, but you got your plastic and tells you where to go, and you just can look over and get where you need to be. But this uh, stabilizer and this acid is a biggie, especially if you can't. Harvey, I've been throwing pounds and pounds, 200 pounds of um, soda bicarb and my pH is still at a 6.4. I can't raise it and I put 200 pounds in and I go there and I look at his acid level and it's way up. So this uh, sodonuric acid can definitely um, bite you in your butt. All right. So that's why I kind of recommend this um, this test kit. I think once you buy it and you use it, um, um, I think you'll like it. And also keep in mind, I don't want to fly off the handle. It's coming soon. I get a lot of complaints. I only have second day FedEx offered. Um, I am also going to have the thing on there if it's light enough. Um, say if you're trying to get just a top side, you know, ID, you know, decal or whatever, I'm um, having this automatically go in. It's already in shipping. You can either email me or call me, and I can convert the order so it is not so much money. All right, but here is the killer. It has to weigh 13 ounces, so it's not a lot. And that includes the box. All right. So just keep that in mind. But spar accessories, test strips, and this is the guy, this is the puppy I recommend. It's an excellent, excellent test kit. All right, guys. Um, get that out of my way. Um, hopefully that helps you. Um, getting to be, um, won't be, be long before it's pool and spa season. If you know you got a leaky pump, take care of it now. You'll be a hero. You know, rebuild your pumps. Take care of your multi-ports. Start fixing things now. Uh, so when it comes spring, um, and just fire things up. And you can enjoy your pools a lot better, a lot quicker. All right, guys, um, I'm still a little rough around the edges since my back surgery. I'm just not with it quite yet. Um, I'm going for another round. Um, if anybody has at, tried acupuncture, I'm doing that um, Wednesday. I'll let you guys have, know how that went. Uh, and... Um, 24th, I'm going for more injections in my back. See if I um, can calm these um, nerves down. All right, guys, you be safe out there, okay? And I'll be talking to you before Christmas and um, and the holidays. I hope everybody uh, truly has a good holiday. All right, enjoy. All right, take care.